What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today guys we have leaked information on an exotic hand cannon coming on July 2nd, the Lumina Quest Line and I believe the steps in acquiring this weapon also answering a few questions or a few secrets we are seeing in game now. Now spoilers lie ahead people so if you don't want to be spoiled by absolutely anything you may just want to leave the video right now guys. And before we go any further if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really does help out and if you want new rounds here and daily destiny videos or what you want to see more of be sure to subscribe. Last chance people spoilers are coming. Okay, so I can confirm that the weapon previewed within the Season 7 gear preview we saw a while back, that white hand cannon, was indeed the rose. And it's a weapon we will indeed need to reforge by empowering it with light. Now the quest steps are as follows. We open a chest to start this actual quest. Now where this chest will be, we do not know as of yet. The light lives in all places, in all things. You can block it, you can even try to trap it. But the light will find its way, caught in the speaker. Location identified, light reclaimed. This is no doubt probably what the quest step is called. It states then, Fire Team Leader, your system positioning device is active compared to a chest that is currently located somewhere in the, and it says blank, you've discovered a letter in a ruined campsite where you found your mangled fawn. The sender purports to be the legendary Shin Malfur, a supposed do-gooder with a complex approach to doing good. He claims he's entrusting you with the original fawn, a hateful weapon capable of permanently killing guardians. The gun is hidden away somewhere. And to find it, you'll have to use an enclosed system positioning device to track it down. Your ghost observes that the signal changes once an hour. On the hour, you'll have to be quick. So from that, I'm guessing whatever this signaling device is and whatever we may have to do and going through a few other steps of the quest, which we'll go to in a second. It seems as though the signaling device tracks down chests, which probably pop up within the hour. And that's probably going to be a main point behind this quest line. So the next step is identify the location of the original fawn using your system positioning device. Defeat multiple enemy combatants in a row without reloading your weapon. And then it states, system positioning device. Your system positioning device is active and paired to a chest that is currently located somewhere in the, and it says blank, a weapon of hope. Fight together or die alone, caught in large checks. Your project is going well, the gun is more than mechanically sound. It has synergized with your light, but unlike your quest to restore your fawn, there are no mentors here. This is you, forging a new path, following your intuition in search of a strong symbol of hope. If there's one thing you've learned since the Red Legion invaded, is it that single guardians fall alone. Fire teams of like-minded individuals persevere. Complete activities throughout the solar system with roles equipped. Fighting in a fire team with the roles wielders grants the most efficient progress. T minus one hour to transmat. Your system positioning device is active and paired to a chest that is currently located somewhere in the blank again, people band together. You feel ready to complete your project and you have a suitable poetic scheme to do it. You plan to reclaim lost light from the hive. Using the strength of your own abilities, you'll redirect it into the gun and, with any luck, it will bloom into something greater. Enter the strike, will of a thousand voices, with rolls equipped to reclaim lost light from hive crystals and defeat soul. Now we've seen within the will of a thousand voices in game, now we can see crystals scattered throughout the whole place. So that's why these crystals are here, we need to shoot these with the rolls to empower it with light guys. It's as simple as that. Objectives must be completed in a single run through the activity. Progress is not saved across multiple attempts. Okay, so you have to go into the strike and find every crystal. Now, I'm not sure how many there is the last time I saw. I think there was four or five, but there's probably more found by now. You are the new owner of Dragon Yours original fawn. Merely holding the gun makes you nauseous. Not out of moral principles necessarily, but instead a very physical effect which reminds you of losing your light during the Red War. You don't know what to do with this thing. You have no intention of firing it, if nothing else, you believe you need to neutralize it. The next step, neutralize the fawn's intrinsic darkness with the strength of your light. Hope is currency, it buys tomorrow. It gives us what we need to survive today. 
Rezal Azur, I believe that's pronounced. Your philosophy about Iskon has crystallized. If Fawn was a weapon of selfishness, then the gun you make will be one of selfishness. If it's a coordinated fire team that saved the city from Ghoul, then the gun you make will support fire teams. The light is about standing united in service of a hopeful future. Next step, defeat guardians with hand cannons as a team. Generate orbs of light for fellow guardians and defeat invaders in Gambit before they have killed any of your teammates. Wow, your system position device is active and paired to a chest that is located somewhere in blank again. Encounters completed. Perk bounties. The searing power of your light burns away the sickness that consumed Dragon Yours 4, revealing the weapon that used to be Rose. You contemplate the weapon for a long time before resolving on a course of action. If Fawn symbolizes twisted intention and malice unchecked, then you will make a gun that symbolizes something greater. The courage should choose the right path, even when it's unpopular or unsafe. But to do that, you'll need to begin your second adventure in gunsmithing. Next step, restore Rose's perk to prepare the gun for its future transformation. Bloom, it states. Reset positioning device. The fiercest light is forged throughout training and skill. The strongest light is forged in the heat of combat. Your system positioning device is active and now paired to a chest that is located somewhere in the blank again. T minus two hours to transmat. Complete a nightfall strike with a score of 50,000 or higher. The traveler gave us these gifts. We choose how to use them. I call a ray. The fate of this wicked tool is in your hands, Shimmel Fur. Rose revealed. System position device. Complete encounters at the blind well, at any of the Black Armory forges, or in the Escalation Road School. When activities are completed, face the hordes. Transmit is go, location changed. Your system positioning device is active and currently located somewhere in the. again, blank. A fateful gift. Bearers of evil past, defend the light. Your system position device is active and paired to a chest that is currently located somewhere in thee. And then it goes on to state, I never thought this was real. I heard the stories we all have. But do you realize what this is? It's history, quoting the ghost. System position device, streaks, system division device, open chest, T minus three hours to transmit, orbs of light generated, system position device, perks restored, the bravest light is forged in the most difficult challenges, system position device, orbs generated, invasions denied, Zor defeated, nightfall completed, strength in numbers. I mean, this is the quest, it's all a bit jumbled on Reddit, it doesn't make perfect sense as of yet, but you get the gist of what this quest will be. And then we can confirm that the rose indeed will be in the game. And no doubt that weapon, the Lumina, is what we come out with. The Lumina, if you look closely at it, it looks like the fawn infused in light, so that's probably exactly what we are seeing here. So just a quick run through of what we have to do, an actual quest, try and make quick sense of this. We first have to open a chest which is located somewhere we don't even know. Then we have to defeat enemy combatants in a row without reloading your weapon. Then you have to complete activities throughout the solar system with the rose equipped. Fighting in a fire team with other rose wielders grants the most efficient process. Then we have to enter the strike a will of 1000 voices with the rose equipped to reclaim our light by shooting those hive crystals, then go on to defeat Zor. Then we have to defeat guardians with hand cannons as a team, generate orbs of light for fellow guardians, and defeat invaders in Gambit before they have killed any of your teammates. Then we have to complete a nightfall strike with a score of at least 50,000 or higher. Then we have to complete encounters at the blind well any of the Black Army Forges or the Escalation Protocol. Now I'm not sure if that is the end of the quest going by this Reddit post. It does go on to say we have to open another chest. It goes on to say uh, Zor defeated, Nightfall completing and strength in numbers. But indeed the activities completed, the Blind Well, Black Army Forges and Escalation Protocol could indeed be the last part of this quest. We do not know that as of yet. But yeah, the news is quite new. This post will be fixed up. It will make more sense the further on we go and the more we learn about this. But as of yet, this is what we know about the Lumina, which is the Rose, which is the Fawn infused in light. Pretty cool people, it really is. Now, like I said, the Reddit post can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. I mean, I have covered it and showed it all within this video. I mean, a lot of it, like you'll probably be aware, doesn't make much sense. But hey, it's what we have right now. So yeah, those crystals within the Will of a Thousand Strike guys are for the Lumina. You have to shoot them with the lows. 
pretty good. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. Tell me what you think about this down below in that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.